Here is a brief summary of today's episode, then we'll dive into it. It's going to cover my weight story, and then I'm going to cover a limiting belief I had that got me stuck for about six months. And following the breakthrough, I dropped weight rapidly. So let's dive in today. So it was the summer of 2021 at the family reunion. I had ballooned up to 286 pounds. I say ballooned because prior to that experience, I typically on average was about 260 pounds for the previous 20 years. And then in the summer of 2020, a year prior to ballooning, I trimmed down a lot because I got off of my medicine for bipolar disorder. And then I was hospitalized, had a relapse. And in September of 2020, I came home from the hospital after being court ordered there and because I got back on my medicine and stabilized again. And then uh, when I came home, uh, the day after I came home, our sixth child was born. After he was born, I was probably, I don't know how much I weighed after the hospital. I was probably around 240, I would think. And then I jumped up to 286 by the summer of 2021, which is typical. I usually gain about, uh, you know, 60-ish pounds, 40 to 60-ish pounds after I get back on my medicine typically. And as a result of that, I had created this limiting belief that I must need to be heavy in order to maintain my sanity. Let's start with this 286 again, and we'll break things down from there. And then we'll come to the limiting belief breakthrough. And then I'll conclude with takeaway. So in the summer of 2021, again, when I was 286, I decided that I needed to trim down. And I said, ambitious goal to wanting to trim down to my ideal weight, which is was my high school weight, uh, around 195, 198, somewhere in that range. And I made that active decision and started eating differently and striving to not eat till I was stuffed. It was one of the side effects of my medicine is it currently it turns off the, the stomach mechanism that tells you when you're full. So I would literally eat till I was stuffed. I couldn't eat anymore. And I said, like, oh, I must be full now. And and if I wasn't eating till I was stuffed, then I would say I wasn't full and I needed to eat more. And that's how I ballooned up the 286. So after that 13 months, I dropped 21 pounds. So that puts us at the summer of 2022 in August. I was down to 265. And then over the next eight, eight months, I dropped 11 pounds, which would have put me around November 2022. And November 2022 to May 2022, Three, I got stuck at about 254 on average. I would trim down during the week, Monday through Friday, while I was at work. And then over the weekends, I put the four pounds back on. It was back and forth, back and forth. And I really got stuck. And finally, on 13th of May, 2023, approximately, I don't know, 14 weeks prior to today, August 2023, I awoke from a nap. I don't recall what I was dreaming about, but when I woke from my nap, I realized, man, I got to get to work. And I thought to myself, with the help of some inspiration, the idea came to my mind's eye that I needed to make the decision if I wanted to be lighter or not, if I really wanted to trim down. And I said to myself, yes, I do want to trim down. And when I made that decision, it was, it became very vivid to me that to, in order to accomplish what I really wanted, and I knew that that's what I really wanted. It wasn't just a, a vague idea. I had made the decision in 2021 to trim down and I did. But in May 2023, I, after that dream and this inspiration that came, I recognized that if I wanted to trim down, I needed to take accountability and I need to live in accordance to correct principles. What I'm translating and what I'm trying to say with all of that is that I had started a podcast in March of 2023. At the time, it was called Jesus is the Mark. And for the next month or so, I had thought to myself about making Jesus the mark or the aim or the focal point of my life. And it dawned on me when I woke up from that dream that if I wanted to make him the mark of my life, I needed to have his image in my countenance, meaning that part 
of taking on the, the character, the attributes, and the perfections of Christ meant that I had to also take on his physique. And I have a very challenging time considering himself being 254 pounds as I was. The bottom line was I was complacent. I wasn't exercising. I was stuck. And my master, Jesus Christ, was a carpenter. And I picture him being someone who is active and engaged and full of life. And I wasn't. I had a hard time getting my shoes from under my bed. I'd have my children get it for me. And the bottom line was just the dawned on me that if I wanted to put him as the mark in my life, that includes changing every area of my life, including my physique. And when I made that decision, it was five weeks later after that decision, I was down 26 pounds. So just to recap, the first 13 months after making the decision to trim down, I was down 21 pounds. The next eight months, I was down 11 pounds. The next six months, I was stuck. So that was a total of 32 pounds in from 2021 to 2023. And then the next five weeks, I went 26 pounds down and I'm still trimming down today. So what was the limiting belief? The limiting belief was that if I'm going to maintain my sanity, I had to be heavy as a result of my medicine. And I broke through that limiting belief by making Jesus the mark in my life and recognizing that my weakness was the natural man or the carnal man was controlling my life rather than me governing my body and taking accountability. So in conclusion, the takeaway from all of this is number one, you need to turn your life over to God. Number two, you need to take accountability for what you would let into your body. Number three, you need to turn down, literally, you need to have your mind single to God's glory. It's not about the weight, it's about about glorifying Him and, and being a light on the hill so that you can bring energy and joy to your family and you can tie your shoes without running out of breath. And then fourth and finally, you need to live because as uh, James Allen, one of my favorite authors says, he says, you don't get what you want, you get what you are. I can conclude today's episode with that quote, invite you to make the change. It's your turn to trim down. It's your turn to break limiting beliefs, whatever they may be for you. But I promise you this, when you turn things over to the Lord, He's going to show you your weakness. He's going to show you what changes you need to make. I knew what it was for me. And when you make those changes, He gives you the power to do it because your mind is single to His glory rather than glorifying yourself. And as a result of that, you become more like Him and you have these breakthroughs. And it is phenomenal. It feels great to have more energy. Just for example, today we were out working on the yard and, and in the past I really struggled to do stuff like that and I found myself on the fence. My wife was holding the tree limb down and I was trying to trim another leaf and here I am probably three or four feet off the ground leaning on the fence and on this tree branch which my wife's holding down and trying to cut another branch. Anyhow the branch I was leaning on it was a branch against the house. It broke and I crashed down took my wife out on the way down and landed on the um, on my my knee in this on the sod or, or the lawn and just kind of laughed about it and i'm just i'm so grateful that i have additional energy and additional life and I can serve more and I can run and not be weary and walk and not faint. And it feels great to be trimmed down and be on the path to trimming down even more. It gives you the agility and joy of being more fit. 